Well, good Monday morning. Things are going to eventually feel more spring like, but taking a live look from Poplar Bluff, where things are definitely seeing more sun than we have in the past few days, we're also noticing an increase in our winds out there. So, temperatures at Poplar Bluff coming in into those lower 40s, but those winds from the south, southwest, 13 miles per hour, gusting at times more than 20 miles per hour. There is a wind chill factor feeling more like those mid 30s, but still a very sunny day. Now, eventually those winds from the south southwest will warm us up, but even taking a look across our region, seeing our temperatures still primarily into those lower 40s. Again, eventually we will warm up Cape Toronto sitting at 43, Paducah 43. It's almost like nature's copied and pasted 43 all across our temperature map. So our threat tracker bar staying low, mostly sunny today for the first day of spring, but we will notice those winds at times gusting over 25 miles per hour. Going into our Tuesday through Wednesday, things are going to be increasing as far as our rain chances go. Threat check up our staying down, but as we go into the late midweek, we're talking about Thursday and into Friday. We're putting the threat tracker bar into the moderate levels because we're tracking more chances of rain and even some chances that we do see some storms. But today we are going to be noticing those winds still coming from the south southwest, trying to warm us up into those lower 50s by later this evening. But as we go into the early morning hours Tuesday, a few isolated showers will be possible. Temperatures into the morning back into those mid 30s, so not as cool as what we have been seeing, expecting isolated to some moderately heavier showers as we go to the late evening hours. Here we are five o'clock most of us seeing at least that good chance at those widespread showers that should be out of the region by late Tuesday, but then we bring it right back in as we go into Wednesday morning. Here we are at seven o'clock. Temperatures a little bit warmer now into the morning hours, sitting into those mid 40s, but few more chances of rain and even a few rumbles of thunder cannot be ruled out. We stay primarily dry. A few areas of drizzle as we go into the late Wednesday afternoon time frame. Temperatures still warming up very slowly into those upper 50s, but then we're going to notice as we go into the late midweek, there we go Thursday and into Friday, more chances of widespread spread rain going into the late week. We're talking about the chances of maybe some stronger storms. We're talking about temperatures rising yeah, into those 70s. Cold front passes were not quite done going into our Friday. Heavy rain, gusty winds and storms potentially late Thursday into early morning Friday. Temperatures dropping into those lower 60s, upper 50s. Again, storm chances still hang around, so looking pretty stormy to the end of the week. And we're not just tracking the chances of storms. We're also tracking some more spring like temperatures out there. Look at that going almost into the 70s and we're staying pretty consistent going forward even into the weekend, but we do have another chance of rain to talk about. But if you are planning on doing any outdoor yard work because today is the first day of spring, well, your best day is probably going to be today as we are seeing the sun. Just got to deal with some of those gusty winds out there, but then don't forget Tuesday into Wednesday, we are going to be tracking some chances of rain. It won't be a complete widespread rain there for our Wednesday, but it is going to be something to consider if you are going out there. But hey, you're going to be dealing with some beautiful temperatures no matter what. So, uh, Brooke, I think you're uh, dressed for the occasion of seeing some more spring uh, spring out there. So. Yes, I definitely <laughs> saved this dress just for spring, so I'm happy that it's here. Thanks.